All right, we're back. It's Data Zero, and we're going to be talking about Dogecoin. Yes, Dogecoin. You know that I'm not a fan of Dogecoin. If you know me, I think that it's not good for the crypto market um, because I said way back when it was climbing up to 70 that a lot of people are going to be bag holders, that it wasn't going to be able to get that momentum again. But who knows what could happen? Um, people thought AMC was dying. AMC came back. So you never know if the crypto bull run starts to run again. We could go past 70 it could go to a dollar so you never really know the best thing to do with crypto is just hodl and there is opportunities to make money in dogecoin like this recent dip buy from about 15 or 16 cents all the way up to 20 and 19 cents and that happened within actually a couple of hours um the 20 cent didn't happen till a couple of days later but you could get from 15 16 to 19 cents and that happened in a couple of hours i believe it was a uh 20 percent gain um so you could add a 20 percent gain in just a couple of hours so there is opportunity for dogecoin so if there's money to be made put your prejudices aside because you should capitalize on that opportunity you don't have to marry a coin you don't have to marry a stock you just have to get your money and get out so let's go ahead and do some technical analysis on the chart um and i'll give you guys a short-term price prediction and maybe a long-term price prediction if you stick around to the end let's go to the charts all right, so we're going to go to Dogecoin charts here. And as you can see, we're on the hour charts. We're going to start looking at the day charts. So you can see where we had the big run up to uh, the 74 cent uh, level, which was the highest it had. And then we're going to go ahead and leave that line there for the highest point ever. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and put a, lo a line down here where obviously before it took off, just to get a base real quick so let's go ahead and do that and as you can see with the TA all we're doing is just finding the highs and lows places that it's been rejected and um, multiple times so as you can see it bounced down to here and then it bounced up bounced up bounced up so that would be a good uh, strong level support and as you can see it's consolidating and add another bounce along that level now these lines aren't going to be exact um but they can give you a uh, an idea of when to buy and when to get a good entry point so they're definitely something um and they're very easy to do and definitely something you want to learn so you can see how it bounce so if you would have uh, had this line drawn you could have said hey you know it's down here buy or hey it's close to down here buy or down here buy and then you can also check the rsi too which the RSI would be low. As you can see, the RSI is low here, and then it would be a perfect buying opportunity. Um, but let's go ahead and move into the uh, newer time frames. As you can see, it's slowly moving down. We did have some upswings. It looks like there was a rejection here. So I am actually gonna put one more uh, line here for resistance and, and possible support. And then another way you can find resistance and support is uh, where there's lots of price action movement. So once it moves past that point, as you can see, it shot up um, and then it shot down once it moved past these points. But as you can see, touch point got rejected, um, shot up because it went past it, came back down below it, shot down, tried it again, couldn't get above, got rejected move down bounce as you can see so those are just support and resistant lines so let's go ahead and move into the hour chart to check in what's going on recently so as you can see we had a spike up to all the way to 23 cents so if you would have bought that dip um of 15 16 cents um right here 16 cents you would have been looking quite nice to get that nice gain right here um from 16 to 23 cents and as you can see, we do have an uptrend. So I am going to draw a trend line here um, from down here from the low point. And we'll see if it follows this trend line.
but we should be looking for at least it to hold the 21 20 cent level uh, my price prediction is going to be 21 cents um, for the near future um, I believe that we're going to see some volatility we'll see it shoot up to 23 maybe back down to 19 um, but it has a strong support uh, I believe at 20 mm, no not necessarily um, but I, I do believe that we're going to be looking at a price point of 21 cents here in the near future within the next week by the end of July uh, we're going to be looking at 21 cents and then a long-term price prediction I'm thinking if the crypto bull, bull run continues we'll be looking at 50 cents to possibly a dollar um, I don't know if it will ever reach a dollar unless Bitcoin hits like 200 grand or something like that um, no offense to any doge holders or anything like that but I do think that 50 cents 75 cents is definitely realistic um, and obtainable again uh, but right now, by the end of July, I'm, I'm predicting 21 cents. So here's some TA for you guys. Hopefully you guys follow the uptrend for anyone holding Doge. It is um, holding a large uptrend. And if we go to the day chart, we'll see if we can notice any more trends. As you can see, um, it's a several day trend, so that's always good. Um, so let's see if we can continue to hold that and move to the upside. So that's Dogecoin, and again, if you would have bought that dip at $16 and sold up here at the $23, or uh, 20 cent, uh, uh, pardon me, 16 cent mark, and uh, sold at the uh, 32 cent mark, you'd have been uh, making a nice profit there, over 20%. So here is the TA for Doge. Let's go to. So there was some TA for Doge. You guys look like you're on an uptrend. I don't own any Doge, so that's why I keep saying you guys. Apologize for saying $23 and $23 and $16. It's actually cents, obviously. Uh, that was some smooth brain action there. As you know, apes can be a little bit smooth brain sometimes. Um, but you guys are definitely on a several day uptrend. It says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine day uptrend and on a big green candle uh, daily candle right now moving up um, high of 23 cents and then your lowest low recently was 20 cents so you guys are definitely cruising up um, crypto continues to cruise up Bitcoin at 38,000 uh, Ethereum at uh, 2200 so let's hope this crypto rally continues let's make some money and as always, keep investing, stay safe, have fun, peace out.